Welcome back. Those who are following this channel know that we love Reader from Readwise. And if you don't know what's the difference, I made a video about this already. And we are using Reader as our shallow thinking tool, where we easily capture information, but then use it to highlight things in there and leverage this information in our other, other systems like Tana and Heptabase, which are the other shallow thinking, deep thinking system that I don't. And Reader pops up every now and then, and it's really deeply integrated and there's synchronization going on between Tana and Heptabase. And you can use synchronization with so many other tools as well. However, Readwise is also integrated with Kindle, so you can read your Kindle books. And we will see something about in this video that I want to watch here right now, because something really interesting caught my attention here, which is Readwise Reader just got a ton better on e -Ink. And what this video promises is that we can actually get the reader experience, which is awesome. If you ever saved a blog post to reader, you know it's distraction free. And having this on an e ink device, you know, the remarkable, it's absolute nonsense because you cannot do any of these things there. But you can do this obviously on another e ink tablet called Books. So let's dive into this video and let's see what this is. I haven't watched it yet. If this is any useful for us, paperless movement, your productivity, your way. The video we watch today is from Brandon Boswell. It's a channel I didn't know about, but obviously this video caught my attention. So let's have a look into it and let's see if it's really worth getting this new tablet. The biggest challenge with e-ink devices isn't the screen sharpness, the color fidelity, or the lack of apps. Well, maybe it is the lack of apps. I think the biggest- It is the lack of apps. This thing holding e-ink back is traditional scrolling. And the fact that it doesn't feel good on e-ink but it's not for a lack of trying. Okay, so very quickly about the scrolling that he just mentioned. That's why I'm not a fan of the Remarkable. As you can see, I still have it here. And those following me, they know that I made a video about don't buy the Remarkable. <laughs> it's very a controversial video where many people say, hate me for that, all the haters, welcome. The reasoning behind this is to me, this is nothing more than a using paper notes. Actually, paper notes are much more efficient than using the Remarkable. Yes, you can carry around the Remarkable and it feels great. I give you that and also the writing and things like that. But the thing is, finding information inside the Remarkable is absolute nonsense. So all the apps that you have on iPad now and many other tablets have global search for your handwriting. So you can search information by searching for words that you have in your notes. It's not possible in Remarkable. What Brandon just mentioned is the experience when scrolling. So this means when I go through paper notes, I'm much faster going through the notebook finding the relevant information than I would ever be on a Remarkable. So new tablets that helps to make things faster and still have the e experience, which I actually love too, that something I'm listening. There's a real physics challenge with moving around charged pigments floating in liquid. It's inherently slow and there's not a ton we can do about it while respecting the laws of physics. But what if we didn't have to scroll in an e-ink app? What might that look like? Well, the folks over at Readwise have been exploring just that. So let's check it out in today's video. Hmm, I'm curious what Readwise. So what is Readwise? Readwise is a highlight aggregation tool. It takes everything you highlight from what you read, whether it be Kindle books or articles on the web, and then spits those back at you at regular intervals in hopes that you can remember more of what you read. For me, I get an email every day at lunchtime with three highlights from the past. Sometimes they're things I'm familiar with, and sometimes they're things I don't even remember reading, but they often inspire the things that I write about in Weekly Reset, which is my email newsletter that you should subscribe to in the link down below. This video is not sponsored by Readwise. I've been a paying Readwise user for a number of years now, but if you haven't tried Readwise, I do have an affiliate link that'll get you a 60 day free trial, which is about twice as long as you would get if you went to their website yourself. So highlight aggregation is how they got their start. But about a year ago, they released a beta of what they call Readwise Reader, which is a yeah, that's a reader app that I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. It's strange that it's still in beta because it's already so, it feels so complete. So curious when they finally launch it. Read it later service that has a focus on being the best reading and highlighting experience. I can read from my computer, from my phone, or from my e-ink tablets. It's excellent, except scrolling on e -ink. Okay, here's a tablet from books. Ink sucks. 
I've been able to work around that by setting up this nav ball in the books OS. So if I go over here, you can turn on nav ball and you can configure some settings with these page down and page up buttons. They work pretty well, but they take up screen real estate and they just feel a little hacky. With the new Readwise Reader update, I can turn all of that off and just tap on the right half of the screen to go a page forward and then the left half of the screen to go a page backwards. It's just like reading on the Kindle, except for anything that I'd want to read on the internet. That's amazing, isn't it? You know, look how clean this is. Imagine you save a website full of uh, advertising and things like that, distracting things, and you save it to read and now have it on your e-ink device that is not challenging for your eyes to get this eye strain. This is amazing. And I'm really intrigued now to get one of these two. So if you want me to test this on uh, my own books, I will get one for you guys in order to test it. So let me know in the comments below. To set it up, if we tap on this double A, it'll let us customize our appearance. So we're gonna turn on page scroll. We're gonna go to more style options and we're gonna turn on reduce page animations. And we're gonna set page scrolling to be on by default. Now, when I tap on the right half of the screen, I get a new page. When I tap on the left half of the screen, I go back a page. It's in That's perfect, right? So now I guess uh, I'm curious about highlighting. Hopefully we'll show this as well. Instant, there's no page animation. It's just lovely. As far as your e-ink settings on the books go, there are two primary modes that I think make good sense. You can leave it on balanced which is probably what I think most people should do. This makes it so that you don't have to have the flash, but you do get some ghosting. So like if I were to go in here and go forward a page, go forward another page, go forward another page, go forward another page, you start to see some ghosting show up here. You can set a gesture to do a full page refresh and that can clean that up. And so that's a really good one. The other one that I think makes sense is you can set up regal mode, which is a little flashier. Um, but you never have any ghosting. So every time you tap, you're going to get a full screen flash, which is a little disorienting, but you never have to manually refresh to get rid of ghosting. Well, I would guess I would prefer the one with ghosting and then just every now and then refresh. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting annoyed of the letters behind it. I'm not sure. I have. To, I really have to check this out. I'm interested in this tablet actually. And I, by the way, I also have the super notes here. All right, and I never thought this was anywhere close, but I also know they published new versions. That's, I think that was the very first version that I got here. Um, but I never thought the e-ink devices really were so useful because it gave me so much friction to move it into my PKM systems later on. Having something like this where just for, just for the reader experience alone, it's already worth it. So which one you choose is ultimately up to you, um, but I don't really think you can go. By the way, and then you can also download the Kindle app to this, I guess so, as it is based on Android. So you have both there, Kindle and Reader, and nothing more because nothing more I need there. Um, I really want to check this out. Wrong with either. Now that I've turned that on, I can go ahead and turn off the nav ball. I have a nice clean workspace which is just focused on what I'm reading. Having the combination of the Kindle app and Readwise Reader makes this the ultimate reading device. Or maybe it's this one. No. I'm not really sure. It really depends on what you're reading and where, but with the new update, I can cuddle up with my e-ink device and read whatever I want to read distraction-free. I would prefer to tell And maybe in the not too distant future, you could also do it on this device, but that's that's a super note that I just had here. And uh, I'm curious how this would work there. So maybe I have to have another look into super note as they keep updating this. And it's been, I think even two years already. I last checked this one. So I make sure to update this one for the latest version and check it out as well. Really up to super note to decide. So Rada, when are we gonna get official support for Android apps? Anyway, thanks for sticking around. If you're new around here on this channel, I share tools and tips to improve your thinking and focus with one of those tools being in tablets. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you're looking to improve your focus, I recommend you check out Weekly Reset, that email newsletter that I mentioned earlier in the video.
In it, I share my reflections from the past week to give you one tool and one tip to improve your thinking and focus. It's completely free. There's a link in the description where you can join. I hope to see you there. And until next time, cheers. All right, cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. If you want to watch the full video on your own, it's uh, in the description below as well. So thanks, Brenton, for sharing this information with us. I'm tempted to get one of these books and test it myself. So I'll catch you up in the next one.